Hi Pit Monsters, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be making skirt steak pinwheels. So we're going to start with uh, the garlic, but I want to introduce to you Bastian from Fire and Food. And Fire and Food is a magazine, it's this one, and uh, Bastian is going to make a special about this recipe. Make sure you go over there and, um, well, check it out. So, we're going to start off with our garlic. And we're going to uh, take off the garlic cloves. So I peeled seven of these garlic cloves and we're gonna slice these real fine. So now we'll chop it. Now this is quite a lot, so we'll chop it coarse. And then I have a little trick for you guys to get it even finer. So to get it really fine, we're just gonna press it. And basically what we're doing, we're turning it into puree. So you put pressure on the tip of your knife and you press it onto your board and it turns into a puree. Now we'll chop some parsley fine. Add that to the garlic. Salt. And we're gonna add quite a bit of salt. So that's about four pinches. Fresh ground black pepper. Some olive oil. Mix that up. And we'll use this to brush onto our skirt steak. Look at this giant skirt steak. Absolutely gorgeous, right? So we're gonna use this to create our pinwheels. But first thing that we're going to do is trim off some of that excess fat. We'll cut it in half because we don't need it as a full size skirt steak. So we'll take this and we'll square it up. Spread it out a little bit. We'll add some of our garlic olive oil. Spread that out on the beef. So the next step is that we're gonna take some salami. So we have a beautiful layer of salami. And then we're gonna put it on a layer of prosciutto. The next step is we're gonna add some grated pecorino. Some Parmesan cheese. And this cheese will add a lot of umami flavor to this dish. Now we're going to roll this up trying to keep everything in place. It's a bit of a challenge, but it's well worth it. Now at the end, some of our stuffing is dropping out. We're just gonna cut it off. There we go. And we have this beautiful roll. So to secure it, I'm gonna put in my pins first. So we'll cut off a bit of butcher's twine. You always want to take double the length that you think you're going to need. And what I also like to do is put my butcher's twine into a jar. So it's easy. It stays in one place, it doesn't roll away. So we're going to go underneath. And the first knot I want to have, like, I want to go underneath two to three times. And then it will secure itself almost. There you go. Two, three more times, and then we just cut it off. That's it. Now repeat this for all of the skewers. Mm -hmm. 
So we're just gonna square off the edges because we wanna grill it and we wanna have a square edge to get a good sear on it. We want the same thing on the other side. There you go. Now that makes for a beautiful pinwheel, right? Second step is to cut these off. You get a little bit of the green of the parsley, you get a little bit of cheese. That's gorgeous, right? We put some briquettes underneath the lid of our Dutch oven and we're going to use it to grill our pinwheels with. I'm just going to put on a little bit of olive oil. So we'll put our pinwheels on one by one. Now at first we don't want too much heat on our pinwheels. We do really want them to be fully cooked. Well, the pinwheels are done. And they look beautiful. They have some really crazy good looking caramelization on top of them. Look at how beautiful these spins turned out. We got nice caramelization on the outside, especially the salami. It crisped up really beautiful, just like bacon. So I can't wait to start slicing into this and see how it looks on the inside. There we go. The smell is amazing and my mouth is watering. Time to bite into it. Wow, this tastes insane. This enormous rich in flavor. The salami, the prosciutto and the cheese. Wow, they really pack a punch together with the garlic, of course. And it's so tasty. Man, this is a must try recipe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment down below. See you guys next time. Until then, eat smakelijk.